morning friends and welcome to today's vlog we are getting an early start today it is currently to be exact 7 24 a.m and the reason to that is because M is getting lasik eye surgery today i'm getting prk oh, <laughs> prk eye surgery today which basically i guess she's going from having to wear glasses I don't even wear glasses. Yeah, she's getting vision corrected to 2020. Anyone that wears glasses full time knows how good this will be. I've been trying to do this for a long time, I guess, for a few months. I'm trying to book it all in in terms of lining it up for both of us to have the same amount of time off from work because Em needs a carer, aka okay, me. Aka okay, my guide dog. <laughs> Because yeah, today's now Thursday, so she'll get surgery this morning and she'll all be over in a few hours. And then we have to come back here on Sunday. I don't know, I'll let them explain a bit more. Reason that I have to get PRK is because I have astigmatism in both eyes and thin corneas. The recovery for PRK is a lot longer than normal LASIK surgery. I think the side effects are dry eyes and like some irritation in your eyes swelling, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, let's find out. <laughs> so we thought we'd vlog this for you guys because I get a lot of questions about people who obviously want to fly and wear glasses and the bottom line is, you know, if you can hold a class one medical then you can become an air transport pilot. So I mean that's going to be up to your doctor and stuff obviously whether you can hold a class one medical. But this is one option obviously as well if you want to get your eyes corrected, it's something you can do. So Depending on your script and your eyes, they test your eyes to see how thick your cornea is. Mm. and what your script is so depending on that will they'll tell you which laser is suitable for you and your eyes and they'll tell you if you're not suitable or not so I guess without further ado let's uh let's get this underway <laughs> M's, won't take me em, em's a bit nervous i'm very very nervous but it's okay i'm low-key freaking out it's doing very well to hide that they go in and t retest your eyes first to still make sure that you're suitable and then they put drops in your eyes to numb them <clears throat> and then Give you a sedative. So double dose. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely um definitely worth it. Because the rest of your life you want to wear glasses. Maybe when I'm older for reading, but yeah. As always, there's options, but just one option would take me through today. That's the blurry vision like people have. <laughs> and then after you can see again. That's really neat. It's been the last time you see Em wearing glasses. First stop. I don't know. So we'll show you as much as we can from this. It could be hard to show you guys really a bunch. But Emma's just gone off to the first part. She's gone off to do some paperwork and then they're putting a drop in her eye, like a sedative for her eye. So she doesn't blink and stuff. So Emma just came out of surgery. As you guys can see, she's uh, a bit sensitive to light, hence my jacket over her face right now. I have a bunch of instructions and drops and painkillers and sleeping tablets if need be, so. We get home, we'll have some food, we'll give her a painkiller and um, yeah, Em feels like having a nap. Did really well. So, uh, So we have walked to the next day um, of M's laser eye surgery, so this is day number two. Because yeah, last thing you obviously have just seen and heard is we were in the car on the way back home. So yesterday we got home and M, we had some food and then she had an endone tablet just for pain relief. Then she slept for a few hours, then she woke up, and she woke up we put some drops in. And then yeah, she had another nap and then woke up, we had dinner. Some more drops in. Oh, so much more drops. Had another endone tablet. Yeah, M was really good, she's doing really well. She slept right through the night and woke up this morning and put some more drops in. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys. Well, first of all, I'm wearing sunnies because her eyes are shut, but still a bit sensitive to light. I can't really open my eyes. More than a few seconds for when Nick puts the drops in my eyes. So other than that, my eyes are closed pretty much the whole time and Nick has to walk me everywhere, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, so they did say you do need a carer, like 24-7, and legit 24-7, because yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I guess advice, I guess, for anyone that may be watching this that is considering it, don't underestimate them saying you need a carer, like 24-7. You 100% mm. need, yeah. Yeah. A carer. Yeah. 
because you can't do anything by yourself. So that's why she's wearing sunnies because she's still a bit sensitive to light even with her eyes closed. But I'll show you real quick. Basically yesterday we've just been in the dark bedroom the whole time because Emma's been resting and keeping her eyes uh, out of the light because as you can see upstairs here it was a bit brighter. When it got to night time we came out here and had dinner out here yesterday to venture out here. That's kind of the update for now but I guess I'll just show you guys. Well here in Australia anyway we get a bunch of instructions obviously for me the care on what to do which has pictures of all the different medicine here when to take it and all the eye drops when to have them and then you get like this blue bag here uh, which just has all the different medicine in it so there's different eye drops here which one of these you have to have six times a day which is like an antibiotic then one of these you have to have three times a day which is the voltaren which unfortunately m does say stings it stings so bad yeah like the worst pain but it's an anti-inflammatory so it's a very important one to have yeah so it is helping. Yeah. Because, yeah, just like the top of M's eyelid, like right here, is just a bit flamed or swollen, mm -hmm. which they say is totally normal. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, yeah, we just rang the clinic just because M didn't feel like opening her eyes a lot, which we just rang to see if that was normal, and they said totally normal, especially on the first day. Um, obviously, M slept a lot yesterday, which was good. Obviously, she's tired from the medication and all that stuff. They said even right up until Sunday. So we had the surgery yesterday, Thursday, and then the first appointment back is Sunday morning. So I said even right up until Sunday, some people just don't really want to open their eyes and stuff because they feel heavy, so totally You normal. sort of can't hold them open. You can open them very slightly, but then your eyes just close itself because they don't want to be open. Right. So you can try, but your eyes just shut mm -hmm. themselves pretty much. Mm -hmm. But I can see from when I open my eyes, I can see. It's just a little bit blurry. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's kind of just because like, the eyelids are heavy. Maybe yeah. from swelling and inflammation and stuff. Yeah. I'm seeing really well. Back to this blue bag of goodies. <laughs> Um, there's some tape in here and the reason to that is because these are like protective sh shields which they put on when we left the clinic basically They put over your eyes like this just when you're sleeping to stop you from obviously there's two I see this one for the other eye just for when you're sleeping to I guess when you're moving around in your sleep to stop you from potentially hitting your eyes and stuff There's extra tape for that. Surprisingly <laughs> they're not uncomfortable. Yeah, I thought they would be really uncomfortable but It's not you can lie on your side and I don't feel the eye pad things at all. Really? Yeah. I thought that'd be super uncomfortable no, person. I can't though. feel it. And then there's some more drops in here and these ones basically if she's sort of just in too much pain from her eyes, you know, the pain medication stuff isn't doing anything. You can use that. It's kind of I guess like a last resort. You can use it, but they just say avoid overusing it because it just slows down the healing a little bit. And it's been so good. We haven't even had to use those yet. Emma's doing really well. Then you get sleeping tablets, just in case you can't sleep. Emma hasn't needed sleeping tablets either. She's so been doing really well. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Sick tablets. Jim did feel a little bit sick yesterday, so I had one of those. Yeah. And then the endo, which is just the pain medication, which also does say that does make you feel a bit drowsy, so. That helps put me to sleep, sort of. And then the last thing they put in here is Em's glasses. <laughs> so Em obviously is not going to have to wear them anymore after this whole procedure. <laughs> I can't see anything or where the camera is, so. Are you doing well? Day um, one post op. I know you guys can't really see how her eyes are looking, but honestly, they just look like my eyes closed yeah. with this part here just a little bit like inflamed or swollen so like there's really not much to see no yeah <laughs> and i can't mm. really open my eyes long enough to be on the camera anyway so mm. i guess that's kind of where things have been it just feels like your eyes are scratchy or gritty or like you've got something in your eye every time you open it sort of thing mm. and they feel heavy obviously because there's been a laser so the top of my eyelids feel heavy but yeah they feel better than yesterday yeah, that's good. Every day she's improving. Mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, that's kind of the update for now. I guess there wasn't much to really update or do yesterday. No. She's just sleeping a lot and resting, which is good. Sunday we go in to get the hard contact lenses taken out. So after the surgery they put the like hard contact lens in. So Sunday they'll take them out and give us all new drops. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you'll have all new instructions. <laughs> but yeah, don't fret. Obviously after the surgery they came and got me and then Nan was waiting for me. It was really quick, it was like 20 minutes. They came and got me and saw Em. She was lying there. And the nurse like runs through all the instructions and stuff, so. And the whole procedure was bearable. It's mm -hmm. a little bit daunting, but that's why they give you a sedative, an oral sedative. And your eyes are numb, so you can't feel anything. There's just a smell, but mm -hmm. um, the surgeon explained that that was just the, the gas from mm -hmm. the laser. Is that right? Mm -hmm. 
it's not burning your eye the temperature doesn't change at all it's just the gas from the laser so basically you lie there and he tapes one eye shut and then the other eye you just focus on like a green light the whole time and they count down from 45 seconds and you just keep looking at this green light and then they put like a sponge over your eye for 25 seconds and then take it off and then put heaps and heaps of cold drops on your eye then tape that eye up and then do your other eye so yeah the worst part about that was probably the eye lid holders but other than that it was it was okay Mm -hmm. didn't last very long. And they also said that may be a reason why, like, there's some swelling on the top of your eyelid because of the little holder that was yeah. holding up. Yeah. All in all, going well. So yeah, I guess, um, when there's something else to update you on, we'll, uh, update you. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for day three. <laughs> or day two, post stop. <laughs> so what I want you to do, I'm going to lift your eyes with a cotton bud. And I want you to look at my right ear. So as you just saw, Em actually had a complication with the left eye, so obviously the video has gone a little bit skewed here because obviously the main focus was looking after Em, hence why it's not much really recording from that point. So obviously we're recording this post, really sort of everything being yeah. sorted out. I think it's four weeks post-op. That's a while. Yeah, it is. Exactly. So as you just saw, we were at the clinic. So that was on the Sunday that we were there. And everything was all normal. The doctor actually said that M's eyes had healed. So he was about to take the hard contact lenses out. And then, yeah, I guess in her left eye, he saw that. He said that the contact lens was stopping my left eye from healing. So mm. normal process is three days after the laser, you get the hard contact lenses taken out. But mm. we didn't. We went back the day after. Yeah, what he decided to do was the Sunday. He then said, hasn't fully healed yet. I think he said it was like 95% healed and the hard contact lens said, oh, you know, this can happen, it just needs an extra day. Mm -hmm. So he left the contact lenses in, both of them in, and then we went back on the Monday. Yeah, so the Monday he looked again to see whether they were healed properly and he took the right one out first and that came out all smooth and was all good. And then he went to take the left one out and used like a different instrument because on the right one he just used a cotton bud but on the left yeah he went to take it out and at the same time he went to take it out I pulled back because obviously there's something in your eyeball and like it's uncomfortable and mm. I, yeah it's just a reaction that I just went like that it's like a fight or flight mode so as I did that he pulled at the same time so it sort of it took the contact lens out but it wasn't how it was meant to go down and then yeah that was the worst part of it because it was the most painful thing i've ever ever experienced in my whole life I'm not even joking it was the worst pain ever so yeah and then when i pulled back i looked at his face and he was just like shocked hey yeah i think because i was in the room at the time he, he took a few seconds actually say anything yeah he didn't say anything and i thought oh my gosh i'm blind but then he he said you actually pulled back like the perfect Moment. I think he said he literally had just grabbed the contact lens and that's mm. when he pulled back so yeah. obviously there was no damage or anything done by that Because obviously he was meant to like like a normal contact lens you like pull it down or to the side and then sort of just slide it out But I like it was like yanked out so I feel like obviously this one wasn't 100% healed so it didn't come out as smoothly as the right eye So yeah his plan then was that he said the contact lens was actually stopping it from healing Yeah. So he wanted to, that's why he wanted to take it out of the left eye and obviously the right eye was all good at this point and then he put like this patch over her eye that permanently had it closed for 24 hours just to make sure that keeping it closed and there was some antibiotic cream underneath that and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he said that was meant to be on for one day, that was on, and then we went back. The following day and he checked and yeah, said I had to have it on for another day, another 24 hours. Yeah, he sort of said in the beginning that, oh yeah, after surgery, three days after You'll have your contact lenses out, you know, in unusual rare. yeah, unusual or rare cases, you might have to get it taken out the day after, or in my case it was very, very unusual and not common at all to have it drag on so long, the healing process. So yeah, for some reason my left eye just wasn't yeah, happy or reacting well to the surgery, so it took a lot longer to recover and heal. So we went back on the Tuesday. 24 hours after, and he checked my eyes again. Had on all day Monday, then had it out Tuesday, and then he was like, it's like 98, 99% healed. 
So we just wanted to keep it on for another 24 hours. But then, yeah, we got it on until Wednesday. We took it off that Wednesday morning, and just to be safe, we wanted to obviously go back in. It's just for peace of mind, because obviously... Obviously, with everything yeah, that went on. We're not doctors, we don't know. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure everything was all good. Yeah, and I was worried since the since he took the contact lens out, and I pulled back, and it was the worst pain ever. We just wanted to make sure that it was okay, and there was no damage to it from that. So, yeah, we went back in, and... Yeah, he said that it had healed. Like, relief or reassurance that... Yeah. Yeah, it all healed properly. Mm. Obviously, the left eye took longer to recover than the right. So even when the patch was taken off and they were both like this, the left eye was still blurry and there was a bit of haze and everything like that because it was starting the process of healing. But the right eye had already finished. It was sort of a bit difficult because my left was a bit blurry and my right was good so I was sort of like... But he said the left eye will catch up to the healing in the right eye. Yeah, then we went back a week later mm -hmm. and he tested Em's eyes and he said at that point she was at the legal driving limit. Yeah, I think after that we went back a few days later. Mm -hmm. And then obviously tested Em's eyes again. Everything's on track, so yeah, she actually had 20 20 vision. So, as you can see right now, Em's not wearing contact lenses, she's obviously not wearing glasses. Yeah. So, it's been a few weeks of uh, Em just being able to see freely. Yeah. He said at that first up appointment that my eyes further along or further advanced than other people's eyes. Like, other mm. people didn't achieve 20 20 as quickly as my eyes did, which surprised me given all of the drama and hassle that I had with my left eye. So, mm. that was good and comforting to hear. So the next update we will, which will be on Friday, we'll find out, um, they test the pressure of your eyes. So they were meant to test it last week, but because of the complications with my eyes, they wanted to leave it a week longer. On Friday, they're going to test the pressure of your eyes, see if that's all good, test your vision again, and yeah. But I'm still having four drops a day mm. to reduce the um, amount of haze and stuff, because when I drive at night, mm. it's still... Like around the car lights, it's still a bit fuzzy around the outside, so. I haven't flown since I've had it done, so I'm not too sure how it feels to fly, whether or not it's really dry or whether it's really gritty and I'll have to use all the tears, but I'm on an annual leave again now. So yeah, might fly up to Brisbane and test them out and see how <laughs> I go, but the doctor sort of said that, yeah, they're gonna be pretty dry when you fly, so to always have those little teardrops uh, in my suitcase for when I Go back to work. Yeah, so I guess overall, would you recommend getting laser eye surgery yeah. or PRK? Yeah, so I have PRK. Initially, I would have said no, which is I think why we've waited till now, till I'm 100% healed and happy with it, to give an answer to that. So my answer would be yes, but I would suggest to anyone getting LASIK or PRK, I would suggest going to a few different clinics to get free consults. Do your research, pick a doctor and clinic that you're happy with. Make sure it's something that you really 100% want to do. I think also some clinics offer payment plans. But if you work it out, like the amount of money I spent on glasses and contact lenses like per year, over time it would probably be cheaper to get LASIK or PRK or whatever you're suitable for. I'm not sure about everywhere else in the world, but in Australia at the particular clinic I went to, it would, and depending on which LASIK or whatever surgery that you have will depend on the price, but my surgery was 5,900. So that included the surgery, all the post-op consults, all the medication, the drops. So I'm not sure how much it is in other countries, but for me that was, yeah, probably the best money I've ever spent. <laughs> To be able to see clearly. Long story short, yes, I would recommend it, but do your research. Make sure you find someone you're comfortable with. And make sure you have uh, a really good carer. At um, least a week, I would say. Yeah, after surgery. Yeah, you um, really rely on them for everything. Like, I didn't realise how much you wouldn't be able to do. You're very dependent on your carer, so make sure you have someone that is willing to help you and they get a carer certificate as well, so they'll need to take time off work for it, so mm. they'll be able to get a certificate. It's yeah. been a long rambling video, but hopefully it makes sense. If you guys have any questions about it, comment down below. And we'll answer them. Also, the doctor we were at had said that he had done a few pilots. So it is possible if you obviously already are in the aviation industry to get your eyes lasered and be okay to fly. But obviously, you know, we're not doctors. Talk to your optometrist about it. But yeah, as of this video going live, I want to let you guys know that our fleet is about to have a brand new launch. I have a picture here of, I guess, all their items about to launch men and women. So if you guys are interested, the first link in my description box down below will take you there to shop. So I appreciate that. That does directly help me out and support and can help pay for M's laser eye surgery. So I appreciate that. Big didn't pay. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be the vlog. So thank you guys for watching. I know it's been obviously a bit longer than, I guess, our normal videos. Also, 
I know in my last video I asked you guys what you wanted to see for the 100k subscriber video and I know we're obviously edging closer and closer to that every day and we saw some very interesting comments with some very good ideas. But the next video, we're going to be back in the air. I know uh, I haven't been able to record flying in the past but the next vlog, it's happening. So if you want to see that and be the first to be notified when it does come out, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next vlog. And trust me, yeah, for anyone interested in aviation and you've been wanting to see some more in-depth aviation, actual in-the-air flying, that's going to happen next vlog. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next vlog.